This is a tutorial for a character that existed and died before my channel even started, so that's kind of the reason why I haven't done one until now. What is going on Draw2 Crew? Randy here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys, and today we are going to be drawing Quicksilver from Avengers Age of Ultron. Before we get started, you guys, if you are brand new to this channel, welcome here. I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, books, video games, etc. So if you guys like what you see, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be updated on any time I upload a brand new video. So like I said in the intro, this character, Quicksilver, was around and died before my channel even got going. My channel got started and sort of gained momentum right around Civil War, so Age of Ultron just, it happened before Civil War, so that's one of the reasons why I never did this tutorial, but now that we have the running pose, I thought of a character that would best suit that pose, and Quicksilver is one of those. And between the two Quicksilvers, the one from the X-Men uh, X Men franchise, or the one in the Avengers MCU, I decided that the character of Quicksilver in the MCU would best fit this template right here. So that's why I chose this one, but definitely hit that smash button and let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a tutorial on the X-Men Cinematic Universe Quicksilver as well. Like I said, you are going to need the running pose, the male running pose template, which you can get at the top right of this video or in the description of this video. Uh, make sure to grab that template. You can either do the tutorial of the pose or get the template and print it out. You can grab that. Once you have that, you're ready to begin. Here are the tools that you are going to need for this drawing. If you want more information about my art tools, I have a list that you can check out in the description of this video. Remember, there are three things that you guys need to keep in mind as you are following along with this tutorial. If you're a subscriber, you already know the drill. If not, pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get started with Quicksilver. All right, you guys, so here we are with our tutorial. I've already got my template printed out. This is the running pose version one, the male running pose version one, which you can grab or follow the tutorial to get to this point up in the upper right of this video or in the description as well. So make sure you grab that. If you have it, then you are ready to begin with our Quicksilver tutorial. And let's go ahead and zoom in on the head first. So we're going to focus on trying to get the face as accurate as we can. Keep in mind, you guys, that we are not drawing the actor who plays Quicksilver, um, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Uh, if it doesn't look much like the actor, that is completely fine. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, draw the sides. We're pretty much using all of the uh, key points in the um, on the template here. So we've got the chin. I'm going to go for the chin right here like this. And where the nose is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the V of the nose but on each side, I'm going to draw the nostrils coming out and then up. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw the nostrils on each side like this. I'm gonna, just gonna try to fix that and make it look as nice as possible using, using a sharp pencil. There you go. All right, and the mouth is essentially where it is. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a frown on each side, lower lip right there. Okay, cheekbones are gonna be right here and here, just like the template. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna give him like a bit of a, uh, a mustache. So it's a little bit thicker on both sides. It kind of gets thick right there. There's the mustache, a little bit of a soul patch underneath the, this line right here below the chin. Okay, and then now we got this kind of a shadow thing going on it's a thin so and not not at all like super long so I'm drawing short lines to create the illusion of stubble it's a little longer than your five o'clock shadow okay and then here just drawing it and it sort of thins out as you spread to the sides okay there you go and we just keep going and try to get it even on each side. Okay. There. Let's draw the eyes, you guys. And the eyes are going to start right here. And I'm going to bring it like that's on the line. And I'm going to bring it a little bit higher up and then down like this. Okay. Same thing on this side. Start with the line. You go up and then down. 
Okay, this one goes tiny little line like this, and then this goes across, and then curve. Okay, there you go. Now, it's always, for me anyway, it's, it's a little tough to try to get it all in one shot, so I usually tend to have to erase at least one thing to try to get it right to send, and um, that's fine. Because there you go, so that's the, it, it's kind of got that mean look, you want to keep the lines like this, and it looks like he's sort of got that, you know, angry scowl. Okay, two lines right here for the nose. I'm not going to bring it all the way down to the nose. And then kind of two lines right here for the brow as well. Bring it out slightly this way. Okay, but for the eyebrows, I'm going to sort of make it go spiky up. Kind of like the Quicksilver in the comics. And then just bushy, the bushy part going down. So it kind of goes up and down like this. So now if you look at it, it kind of looks pretty angry. But I don't... And maybe not make it too bushy like that. There you go. I don't think I may have. There. And again, just keep working at it until you get the an ideal shape that you like. And maybe the shape of the eyebrows that you like isn't exactly the one that I like. So get it to how you like it. Okay, so for the eyes, for the pupils, I'm going to have them in the center. And you want it all sort of barely, not even touching the bottom part of the eyes. It's all up at the top. So that way he's looking forward. His head is looking down, but his eyes are looking forward. And that's what you, that's what you want. That's the effect that you want. Okay, and then some eye bags here. And there you go. And uh, like again, like I said, if it looks nothing like the actor, that is fine. Okay, right here I'm going to draw the ears. There you go. Let's add a little bit of hair now. And this right here is going to be the hairline. And I'm going to draw it like this. And this goes into the side of the ear, kind of like where the ears are. So there you go. That gives it the hairline. And then now you kind of want to create the illusion of running fast by having his hair sort of flowing backwards. And he's got a part around this side. So you want to keep that in mind as you go. And you kind of want some waves of hair kind of falling down his down his forehead first from this side here. And then you kind of want the rest of the hair to go like that. Okay, so I'm going to start right here from the ear and kind of make this Dragon Ball like hair. So it sort of goes like this and makes a sharp point. And then you kind of want to go like a Dragon Ball, so kind of imagine drawing flames as well. It's kind of what it looks like. Okay, and then from here again, this side, I the hair to go out this way, down, up, and like this. So, it sort of creates this Dragon Ball style haircut, or hairstyle, but what it actually is, is just the, the illusion of your hair kind of falling back as you go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it less Dragon Ball, so I'm going to give those the, the hair a little bit more curl and less less pointy, I guess. Well, it's still pointy, but it's not like straight angles, but it's got some curves to it. Okay, so now with the hair, I'm just gonna bring make it so that the hair is going from like the side here, from the forehead all the way to the top like that. Okay, so you just keep working at it. There you go. There. So that is Quicksilver with super thick hair, long hair, kind of moving about because he does have kind of wavy long hair in the movie. So that's kind of the illusion that we're trying to create here. There you go. And now you've got Quicksilver's hair, right? So now let's zoom out and let's work on the torso and the arms. It's essentially the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start outlining the shape of the, or the outline of the template, because that's exactly what we're going to use. So first I'm going to outline the, kind of the outside of the, outside lines and not so much the inside lines. 
So you guys go ahead and do that as well. Again, it's just essentially darkening these lines, trying to get them to look smooth. And I'm not going to draw the inside line so much, not right now anyway, because um, I want to make it so that, you know, there's fabric covering the muscles. So I don't want to draw like the ripped abs or, or anything like that. Okay, there you go. So we've got that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this forearm with the rest of the arm by just closing this right here. Okay, and while we're here, let's uh, work on th this part. And he does have, here are the knuckles. He does have a line that goes through here. This is part of his um, sweater. His long sleeve actually goes all the way to the thumb. So I'm going to draw two lines right here. That's part of the costume there. Okay, and then right here, kind of right where it starts to get wide. One, two, and then a tinier, thinner line. So three lines, the, the last two are close together. All right. Now I'm going to draw some horizontal lines that sort of run along here. And then now this is texture. I'm creating these curves. Now these curves right here create the illusion of depth for Quicksilver's arm. So you want to give it that roundness and that roundness gives it that 3D looking shape. So there you go. Okay. Here's the bicep and kind of right along the bicep, I'm going to make this V shape and then it goes up the, up the uh, triceps. Okay. And I'm going to do that twice. There you go. And then sort of follow this along. And then from here, I'm going to draw a line from the armpit kind of going towards kind of over the chest line. There's a chest line here, but this line goes towards the head like that. And then you see the same thing over here from the armpit line towards the head like that. Okay. And then right here, kind of just right in the middle of the bicep or of the, of the deltoids or the shoulder muscles, two lines going across, same thing here, two lines from here going across to the other side like that. Okay. And then just give just a little bit of muscle definition for the shoulders here. A little bit of muscle definition for the biceps. But essentially what you want to do is you want to create this, uh, this differentiation right here. These are all going to be different textures in the fabric. Okay. And then right here, there's like this line that goes to the, through the back like that. And then you don't see much of it on this side. So again, like that's the back. Here's the top, here's the shoulder. And yeah. Okay. Now let's go to this side. And what we want to do is we want to create the thumb opening and it looks like this. And then the two lines here, that's what this is right here. That's this, these two lines, but the thumb is covered. So I'm going to cover that up and draw another line right here. It's actually covered by some, some other fingerless glove. Okay. And then right here, this is going to be covered as well. So I'm going to draw this line right here. So this is fabric and this is where the finger is. Okay. Right here. One, two, three lines, just like here. There you go. And then line from here going vertical this time. Okay. And then lines across horizontal, giving it a curve showing that, you know, there's, there, there's depth there. It's 3d. It's a, got a shape to it, a roundness. Okay. Right here. I'm going to draw the, just a curve of the bicep. And then now a little bit of the shoulder just there. And in between, in between, it's going to be that V shape. I'm going to draw two lines like this. Okay. There you go. All right. So underneath the chest or just the chest right here, I'm going to create this 
this line that defines it, but not in the center. Now we're not going to draw that center line there. All right. So now here's the kind of like the lightning uh, part of his costume. And it goes kind of along the chest line and then goes down like this. And then kind of just makes this sliver right here. And then it goes down the side like this. Okay, so that's what that looks like there. You kind of create the same thing here, barely seeing it. So that's what it looks like on that side. Okay, and then one more of this right here. This goes across. Two lines going across like this and then going down. And this is all above the waistline. This is the waistline right here. Okay, so you just want to create those two spikes and it just goes to the side like this, okay? Just beneath that is the edge of the shirt. So it's gonna be below the, below the waistline here. And it just goes from this side going all the way to the other side and it sort of touches on this point and this point there. So that's the part of the shirt. I'm gonna draw two lines there. There you go, so there's sort of the the end of the shirt and where the pants begin. Okay, before we do that, I'm gonna draw these curved lines that go up and down along the side. Try not to, try to give that ear a little bit more definition so it sticks out, okay? And you notice how it sort of follows the, it has a little bit of a curve to give the illusion of, you know, the chest sticking out. Okay, and then now I'm gonna draw a line across. Again, this sort of gives that illusion of the chest having a curve to it. And there you go. So that's, that's gonna be for that. And then I'm gonna do the same pattern here. Now I'm paying close attention to how the shoulder muscle curves. So as you guys probably see, it kind of goes like this and it goes straight. Okay, and then now, kind of going around, going the opposite direction. And then you do the same thing over here. And there you go. That is the upper torso of Quicksilver right there. All right. So now let's focus on the pants and the mainly this part first, like the, the top part of the pants. First thing I'm going to draw is like these wrinkles on the side here because those are all going to be part of the fabric of the pants. The pants are, you know, they're a little bit baggier and they also have a lot more wrinkles. So here's the crotch. I'm going to draw a line going down the crotch. That's the crotch line there. And then another line right here and sort of goes like this so it meets there and then right where they meet I'm going to start drawing these lines going forward from that point going outward I mean and that's the pants sort of bunching up on on those in the center in the crotch area okay right here there's a little bit of zigzag there before I go down and then I just trace the outside of those of the of the quadriceps, the thigh muscles. And then this one, just follow it down to the knees. As you reach the knees, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a pants wrinkling up on each side. And then tighter as you go, uh, as you go up. So here along the knee, sort of becomes wavy and then this goes straight up. There you go. Okay, so now we've got that. There's a little bit of pattern just above the the knee here so let's go and do that from here it just goes to the other side of the thigh like that actually let me bring it down a little bit lower there okay and then here same thing just like that so it's like this diagonal line that goes across the thigh like that and then I do the same thing on this side down and then up as you go to the right down and then up as you go to the right 
Okay, and I'm going to draw some rectangles going up and down. Same thing here. So I'm just going to draw it like that. A little bit more complicated than that, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple. Okay, I'm going to draw another line right here, kind of parallel to that bottom line, but I'm going to stop just above the knee here and I'm going to draw and then draw two lines from there. One, two lines that go to the side. Okay, right here, this goes this way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way down to the bottom. Let me zoom out. Sorry about that. There you go. So this line just sort of goes all the way down to the bottom there. And the pants I'm going to draw. Okay, so here is where the ankles are. Just below the ankles, draw one, two lines like this. This is where I want the pants to end. Think of it as like cuffs. There you go. But it does get bunched up and it gets a little bit bigger. So I'm going to bring it out like this, make it some, make some wavy lines, and then bring it up to the calf muscle. There you go. So now it looks like he's wearing pants and not just like skin tight uh, spandex. Okay. Lines going up and down here. Okay. Make sure this one goes all the way down. And as you reach here, I'm actually going to bunch it up as well. Like that. And there you go. Nothing much to it, you guys. All right, now the shoes. The shoes, you don't really see much of the shoes, so let's just simplify it. I'm going to draw the soles. Okay, so remember the soles are going to be like this. Here's the front of the sole, and then the bottom is going to be right here. I'm going to draw a line going from here, going across to the other side. And we're just going to draw straight lines like that, just going across, okay? half circle, kind of, and then just continue going down like this. Okay, and then this is going to be the shoe. I'm going to have it stick out like this a little bit, and then on this side. So it kind of makes it a little bit thicker on each side there, and it goes there. Here's the front part of that shoe, and then the tongue part is going to go like this. So here's the tongue of the shoe. I believe that's what the part of the shoe is called, right? And then shoelaces go across right there, just like that. Okay, nothing much to it. That's pretty much all we really need to do. So when we zoom out, there you go. There is Quicksilver right there. Now the movie, oh yeah, and draw the ground where he would be running and that's that. The movie has Quicksilver having these lines, the contrail lines that follow him as he as he runs and I'm not a big fan of it because it just doesn't look it doesn't look efficient like it looks it looks almost smoky. I'm not the biggest fan of that but if you guys want to draw those lines it's just you start from the the the, the fists and the arms and you just create like this very very zigzaggy line that and you draw several of them they overlap each other like this and you just keep doing that with different parts of the body and i'm not going to do it uh for the whole thing i just i'm not a huge fan of that effect i like the quicksilver from x-men effect better and also you guys let me know in the description of this video which version do you like better this quicksilver from avengers age of ultron or quicksilver from x-men x-men days of future past and uh, first class, I believe. Does, was it first class? X-Men Apocalypse. There you go. There. Okay, so there you go, you guys. This is Quicksilver from Avengers Age of Ultron. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know if there are other characters that you want to do in this running pose. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next tutorial video. Take care. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see 
your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out there. I have a list of pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe to all of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description. So always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.